Hi, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 5.2, Divide Decimals by Whole Numbers. The essential question for this lesson is, how can you use a model to divide a decimal by a whole number? Now, go ahead and open up in your GoMath workbook to lesson 5.2, found on page 103, and let's get started. Now, let's take a look at question number one. As you can see, question number one has already been completed for you, but it's a good example of how to use a model to complete the number sentence or to complete the division problem. For question one, we have one and two tenths being divided by the whole number four. Now, there are some steps we're going to follow, so let's start with step number one. Step number one, if we're going to use the model to complete the number sentence, is to draw a quick picture to represent the dividend, and our dividend here is one and two tenths. So I'm going to draw a quick picture to represent one and two tenths. So I'm going to draw one flat to represent the one, and then I'm going to draw two tenths to represent the two tenths. Now our next step is, is to draw four circles to represent the divisor, because four is our divisor in the problem. So here's one, two, three, four circles. Now what I know is I can't divide one whole into four different groups. So what I'm going to need to do is, as my next step is, I'm going to have to regroup the whole one as 10 tenths. So what I'm going to do next is this. I'm going to regroup that whole. So I have my one here that I'm going to regroup. And I'm going to now turn that into my 10 tenths. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now that I've regrouped my one whole into 10 tenths, I'm now going to share equally my tenths among the four different groups. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Well, what I know is I have 10 tenths here plus the 2 tenths here, so that means I have a total of 12 tenths to share equally among the four groups. So what I know is when I look at my four circles, I see that each of those four circles now contains 1, 2, 3 of my tenths. And so what that tells me is if each group contains 3 tenths, my answer to my division problem, 1 and 2 tenths divided by 4, is going to equal 3 tenths. And that's how we're going to use a model to complete our number sentence. Now, let's take a look at question number two together. Once again, question two says to use the model to complete the number sentence. For question two, they give us three and 69 hundredths divided by three. Now remember, our first step is to draw a quick picture to represent the dividend. And in this case, our dividend is three and 69 hundredths. What's nice is they've already drawn the model, the quick picture, to represent 3 and 69 hundredths. We have 1, 2, 3 to represent the 3 in the 1's place. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 to represent the 6 in the 10's place. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 to represent the 9 in the 100's place. Now, step 2 says draw circles to represent the divisor. And in this case, our divisor is a 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add those three circles in. So I'm going to draw one circle here. There's circle number one. And here's circle number two. And here's circle number three. Now, what's nice about our problem is, is that I can evenly divide three holes, six tenths, and nine hundredths by our divisor, which is three. So what I know is each of our three groups contains the following. They contain one whole, they contain two tenths, one, two tenths, and they contain three hundredths, one, two, three. So as the answer to my division problem, the quotient, it turns out to be one and twenty three hundredths because we have one in the ones place, we have two tenths, and we have one, two, three hundredths. So once again, that represents one. We're going to write this down as our answer, as our quotient. We have one and twenty-three hundredths. So I know that three and sixty-nine hundredths divided by three is one and twenty-three hundredths. Now, let's take a look at question number six together. Our job is to divide, and we're going to use base ten blocks to help us model this division problem. Our problem for number six is six and forty-eight hundredths divided by four. Now remember, step number one says draw a quick picture to represent the dividend. And in this problem, our dividend is six and forty-eight hundredths. So I'm going to very quickly draw a quick picture to represent six and forty-eight hundredths. So I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five, six of the flats to represent the six in the ones place. 
Now I'm going to draw four of the longs to represent the four in the tenths place. So one, two, three, four. So there is our four in the tenths place. Now I'm going to draw eight of the unit pieces to represent the eight in the hundredths place. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So what I now have is I have six and forty-eight hundredths. So we've now drawn the quick picture to represent our dividend. Now step two says draw circles to represent the divisor. Well in this case our divisor is a four. So I'm going to draw four circles to represent that divisor. So here's one, two, three, four circles. Now our next step is going to be to share those ones. So I'm going to go ahead and share the ones that I can. So I'm going to go ahead and draw one flat here, one here, one here, and one here. So that takes care of one, two, three, four of the holes. We've now been able to share four of those holes equally among our four groups. Well the problem is I still have two of those holes left. And I can't evenly divide two holes among four different groups. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to regroup. Now when I regroup what happens is these two holes, these, these flats, are now going to become ten tenths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn this into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm going to go ahead and regroup the second one here as well. And I'm going to turn that into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tenths as well. So we've now regrouped those two holes that were left. What I now have is this. With the ten tenths here and the ten tenths here, that's a total of twenty tenths plus the one, two, three, four. So that's a total of twenty-four tenths. Well, I know that if I divide twenty-four by one, two, three, four, that gives me six. So I'm not going to place six of those tenths in each of my four groups. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we have now taken care of all of our tenths. Now our last step is going to be this. We now have to share the hundredths. Well, what I know is I have eight hundredths. And if I have four groups, what's nice about that is when I divide eight by my four groups, that gives me a total of two. So I'm not going to draw two of my hundredths in each one of my groups. So here's one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. So that gives a total of two, four, six, eight, and that takes care of now of our eight hundredths. So now our eight hundredths are taken care of. Now our last step is to determine how many do we have in each of our groups. So let's go ahead and make a count. In our groups we have one whole, we have six tenths, and we have two hundredths. So what I know is my quotient turns out to be one, and we're going to go ahead and write down a one in the ones place. So we have our one, and then we have six tenths and two hundredths. So that becomes one and sixty-two hundredths. So once again, six and forty-eight hundredths divided by four turns out to be one and sixty-two hundredths. Now, let's take a look at question number eight together. Our job here is to divide and we're going to use base ten blocks to help us model our division. For this problem we have four and twenty-six hundredths being divided by three. Now remember, step number one says draw a quick picture to represent the dividend. And in this problem our dividend is four and twenty-six hundredths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw the model. So I'm going to draw four flats. So there's one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to draw two of the longs to represent the two in the tenths place. And then I'm going to draw six of the unit pieces to represent the six in the hundredths. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now step number two says draw circles to represent the divisor. And in this problem our divisor is a three. So I'm going to draw three circles to represent the divisor of three. So here's one, two, three circles. Now our next step is going to be this. We now need to share our ones. Well once again we have four of those ones. So what I know I can do is this. I can go ahead and I can share those ones and I can put a flat here to represent the one, another one here, and another one here. 
So this one's taken care of, this one's been shared, and this one's also been shared. But now here's the problem. That leaves us with one of these ones or one of the flats left over. Now, I can't evenly divide this one whole. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to regroup. So what happens is I'm going to regroup this now. Let's do some regrouping. I'm going to regroup this one whole now as 10 tenths. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to make this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, when I add these tenths, the 10 tenths here, plus the 2 tenths here, I now have a total of 12 tenths. What's nice is I know that if I divide 12 by 3, I'm going to get 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to add 4 of those tenths to each of my three groups. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And we now have our 12 tenths that have been evenly divided among our three groups. So they're now taken care of. Now our last step is this. We now have to share our hundredths. And what we have is we have six hundredths. Well, I know that if I take 6 and I divide it by 1, 2, 3, that's going to leave me with 2. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to distribute 2 hundredths to each of those three groups. So here's 1, 2, 1, 2, and 1, 2. Now our last step is to determine how much we have in each of our three groups because that's going to tell us what our quotient turns out to be. So when I make my count, what I know is I have one whole, so I'm going to write down a 1 in the 1's place. And I also know that I have 1, 2, 3, 4 tenths. So I'm going to write down a 4 in the tenths place. And I also know that I have 2 hundredths, 1, 2. So I'm going to write down a 2 in the hundredths place. So what that tells me is 4 and 26 hundredths divided by 3 gives me a quotient of 1 and 42 hundredths. Now, let's take a look at question number nine. It's our first real-world problem-solving question, and it says, in PE class, Carl runs a distance of 1 and 1,700 miles in nine minutes. At that rate, how far does Carl run in just one minute? So here's what I know. I know that Carl runs a distance of 1 and 1,700 miles in nine minutes. And they're asking at that rate, how far does Carl run in just one minute? So my problem becomes 1 and 17 hundredths divided by 9. Now, once again, we're going to use our model to represent this division problem to find the quotient. Now, step number one, we need to draw a quick picture to represent the dividend. And in this case, our dividend is 1 and 17 hundredths. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go ahead and draw 1 and 17 hundredths. So here's one flat. Here's one long to represent the one in the tenths place, and here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven unit pieces to represent the seven in the hundredths place. So we now have our quick picture representing, once again, our dividend of one and seventeen hundredths. Now, step two. We're now going to draw circles to represent the divisor. And in this case, our divisor is a nine. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to have to draw nine circles. So here's one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine circles. Once again, those nine circles represent our divisor, which is the nine. Now our next step is going to be this. We need to now share the ones. Well, what I know is I can't equally share one whole among our nine different groups. So what I'm going to have to do is, is I'm going to have to regroup. So I'm going to re that, regroup that one whole as 10 tenths. So I'm now going to go ahead and regroup. So we're going to regroup this one whole. And that's now going to become 10 tenths. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, with what I've done here, I have 10 tenths plus the 1 tenth, and that makes 11 tenths. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of our tenths in those nine groups. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I now have 9 of those 11 tenths that I've shared equally among those groups. So let's go ahead and take care of that. There's 9 of those tenths. So now I'm left with just 1, 2 tenths. 
Well, I can't evenly share two tenths among nine groups. So what I'm now going to have to do is this. I'm going to have to regroup those two tenths now as hundredths. So we're going to go ahead and regroup. So I'm going to regroup this tenth here. And when I do that, that tenth now becomes ten hundredths. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm going to go ahead and regroup the other tenth. So we have our tenth right here. Now that's also going to become ten hundredths as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's make a count of our hundredths. We have ten, twenty, and then we also have twenty-one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that makes a total of twenty-seven hundredths. Well, what I know is if I divide twenty-seven by our divisor, which is nine, I know that that's going to equal three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw three of those hundredths in each one of our nine groups. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. So we've now taken care of all of our twenty-seven hundredths. So now the hundredths are taken care of. So here's the twenty and then our seven. So we've now taken care of all those hundredths. Now my last step is to determine how many do I have in each group. So when I go back and look at my groups, what I know is this. In each group I have one tenth and I have one, two, three hundredths. So what that represents is that represents thirteen hundredths. So when I divide 1 and 17 hundredths by 9, my answer turns out to be 13 hundredths. So to answer the question, at that rate, how far does Carl run in one minute? He runs 13 hundredths of a mile. Now, let's take a look at our homework for tonight. I would like you to complete question number 1 and question number 2, as well as numbers 3 through 6 found in your GoMath workbook on page 104. Don't forget to assess yourself. Do you feel like you're a novice? I'm just starting to learn and I don't really understand. Are you an apprentice? I'm starting to get it, but I still need some coaching. A practitioner, I can do it by myself, but sometimes I might get stuck. Or are you an expert? I understand it well, and I could teach it to someone else. Now, don't forget to assess yourself. Do you feel like you're number one, a novice, number two, an apprentice, number three, a practitioner, or number four, an expert? Write that somewhere on your workbook page. Once again, don't forget, your homework for tonight will be to complete question number one and question number two, as well as numbers three through six found in your GoMath workbook on page 104. We hope you have a great evening and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow in class.